Well, hello everyone. It is Mike here, and uh, welcome to another tier list. I am super excited for this. I found about three tier lists that were called the Ultimate Horror Movies, and uh, there's part one, part two, part three. I thought about doing a 350 one, but I was like, if I maybe I can do three separate ones, and that would make things better, and it wouldn't be as long in one setting. So I am going to do all three parts. There is tons of movies between all three parts. I think uh, maybe the other parts have even more than what I'm looking at right now. Um, but here are the categories. So we got the S tier, we have the A tier, the B, the C, haven't seen, and trash. And um, I've seen most of these. I'm a big fan of this genre. I can already tell you a couple that I have not seen. And there might be cases where you disagree and say, and say, well, this is not really, this doesn't count or this is more science fiction. I didn't make the list. So I'm, I'm just going based off of what I'm looking at here. And I can already tell you there's about at least 10 here I have not seen. So um, I'm going to be completely honest and uh, OneDrive, of course, interrupting me. Thanks a lot, OneDrive. But anyway, here we go. I, I can tell you I've seen the first one. So we got a pretty good um, it's pretty good variety here. I don't know how the other two lists are going to be. Uh, so I like I said, I've probably seen at least two-thirds of these movies. And I can, and let's go ahead and get this thing started. Uh, 1408, uh, John C Cusack and Samuel L. Jackson. I really like this movie. I actually watched it, uh, last October and I really enjoyed the movie a lot. It was actually better on a second viewing and it, it has a really good storyline to it. So it, it's a solid B for me. Um, 1922. I'm trying to recall if I've seen this or not and I don't think I have. I thought it was another movie. But it's uh, that that's not what I was thinking of. So I, I actually have not seen this. Um, 28 Days Later is just fantastic. That's definitely an A tier. Um, great acting. Some the, some of the scariest infected I've ever seen. And it, I even think it's worse than 28 Weeks Later. But I honestly, if if we were comparing 28 Days and 28 Weeks. I think it's about a tie. I don't think one's better than the other. I think they're about equal. So it's a solid A for me. Um, 30 Days of Night, definitely another A. This is one of the best premises for a vampire film. Uh, you know, it takes place in Alaska. If you don't know, there's about, I think, 30 Days of Night in Alaska where it just stays night the full time. And basically, a uh, gang of vampires decides... We're going to go uh, to Alaska and mess some people up because it's going to be night for so long. So, And it's really good. The villains are just evil. They're some of the evilest villains um, in, these, in this type of genre. I mean, I do not like them. And they're probably the scariest vampires. If I think about most vampire movies, usually they're not scary. Uh, these are probably the scariest vampires that you can get. I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Uh, Lost Boys, I mean, those vampires were cool. So, But these are probably the scariest vampires and the most heartless and no-mercy vampires you're ever going to see. But the idea of the movie is just really good, and it's it's got to take A tier. And I, I recently watched it, I believe, this year, so I got a little bit of a refresher, and it still uh, holds um, tall. Um, okay, Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm going to have to put this in the S tier. This is the 1984 original. It's a classic in my book. It's probably top 20. Um, it's the first time you ever see Freddy. You know, I believe it's the first movie Johnny Depp was ever in. I'm not 100% on that, but... Um, and I really like it. It's really original. Um, I'm not a big fan of Freddy movies. I like the first three. And then they go way downhill. Four's okay and the rest are trash. Uh, but I do like the first three a lot. Um, but this is definitely S tier. It's top 20 for me. Easily. Um, Antlers is trash. I cannot stand Antlers. 
I know people say, well, it's got some cool effects and, you know, it doesn't make the story any better. I mean, it may have some cool effects, but I, I do not like Antlers um, at all. I, I just think it's a terrible movie. Um, I have not seen this movie. It's about bats, I believe. I actually have not seen that. Um, As Above, So Below is trash. I really do not like that movie. Um, there is some moments in it that are, you know, it's definitely, if we had a D tier, it would definitely be in the D tier. Um, but it's, it's just not a good movie. There's a couple cool moments in it, but besides that, it's very forgettable. And I, I just didn't like it. Okay. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I have not seen that surprisingly. I need to actually watch that. Because that is up my alley. You you all know I, I love weird stuff. Um, Attack the Block. is I actually used to own this movie. I think I may have sold it. But uh, it's a B. It's 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 a low B for me. But it's, it's still a pretty good movie. I've only seen it once I believe. Okay Blair Witch. Oh this is a tough one. This is a tough one for me. Some people love this. And some people think it's utter garbage and I'm one of those people that is in between because I think the build up of the movie is great I just don't think it pays off in the end and but I I think for its time it was a classic because it was like one of the first found footage movies but by the time I watched it I, I probably had seen like tons of found footage so it, it didn't really have an impact on me like it would in the 90s but it, I think the buildup is really good, but it just, it's a C. It's a C for me. Maybe low B, but I'm going to go super high C for that. I just, it's not one of my favorites, and I think the payoff is not worth it. But the buildup is really good, and it is really intense. Um, but if you all know the ending, you know why I don't like it. I mean, I think that's the reason a lot of people don't like it. And the blob I actually haven't seen, so... Uh, Bone Tomahawk. I haven't seen, my dad's actually seen that movie, but I, I have never seen that movie. I've seen a scene in that movie that I wish I never saw, uh, but I actually haven't seen it. And I haven't seen The Boogeyman either, and I heard it was terrible, so it's probably best that I never see it. Okay, Cabin Fever is a solid B. Uh, it's really good. Uh, there's some really funny moments in it. Pancakes! Pancakes! Definitely one of the best parts of the movie. Um... It's more funny, and there, there's a cop that, you know, is extremely funny in that movie. Uh, it, it has some really laugh-out-loud moments, but it is pretty ridiculous. But I still have to put it in a B. Um, and I'm noticing a lot of these are not in the last five years, so. Uh, maybe one or two. Uh, Midsummer's here. Or Midsummer, or whatever, however you say it. I'm not a fancy person. Child's Play is definitely S tier. I mean, it's the it's the best Chucky movie. The first one is. Um, the other Chucky's aren't as good. Um, I like Bride. I like uh, I like three actually. A lot of people don't like three. I like three. Uh, but Child's Play is the best. It's top twenty for me, um, and it started the whole Chucky franchise. I, I love it. I think it's really good. Uh, Chopping Mall, have not seen. Christina. It, I, it's been so long, I, I have to put it there. Because I watched it on TV. I couldn't tell you nothing about it. So it, it's unfair to put it there. It looks like the... Well, I, these are in alphabetical order. But you're going to get other ones on the second list. The Class of 84 I haven't seen. I've never even heard of that. Uh, Cloverfield is A tier. Bottom A tier. Uh, another found footage film. But I think it's one of the best found footage um, I'm trying to think of something that's better. Maybe one of the VHSs, but it, I think it's one of the best. And it, the first time I watched it, it just blew me away. I think it's a really good monster film, and um, there's some really great moments in it. So I, I, I got to put it at bottom A. Um, Creep, I haven't seen. I started watching, but I, I didn't finish it. I haven't seen Creep Show. And I almost watched it. I rented it once, and I just never got to it. Uh, the first Critters I have seen, I would put it in B tier. Um, it's a good movie. It has some really funny moments. If 
if I don't recall, it's it's one of those movies where the house just gets completely demolished, and it's just so great watching the house get demolished. Um, okay, so Cube, I actually have never seen. I know people will want me to watch that. Cujo, I actually haven't seen. Uh, Deep Blue Sea is pretty good. I, I would put it in a B. It's a low B for me. I'm not a big shark person. Uh, shark movies, I like the first Jaws. Um, but, yeah, I I don't... Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I have never... I don't even know what that is. And I've never seen that either. Uh, the Descent is uh, definitely... Ooh, I'm going S tier, and w when I'm grading this, I'm 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 thinking of like top twenty horror, um, or at least top thirty when I'm doing this. So I'm not thinking of all time because it's definitely not in my top thirty of all time. So just think of that. I'm not saying that this is top twenty of all time. I'm saying it's like top twenty, twenty five, thirty of this genre. But Descent is definitely an S tier. It, it's 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 a scary movie. It's a really scary movie. I'd probably put it in the top ten scariest movies ever. Um, and it's a really effective movie. It has one of the best jump scares of all time. Um, it's very claustrophobic. It does what this movie tries to do, and, but it does it ten times better. And it's extremely gory. Has a lot of good jump scares, not bad jump scares. Got a really good story to it. Um, and a lot of twists and turns. Okay, so I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. I just don't like this movie. I, it's it's a C. I I'm not a fan. It's just so outdated for me. And the whole bat thing, yeah, I, I don't like it. I know it's a classic. Um, people are gonna hate that, uh, but that's just my honest feelings. I like some of the Universal stuff. I not particular a fan of this of this version of Dracula. I like the Invisible Man and Black Lagoon, Wolfman, but this for some reason I just don't like that movie. Um it, I mean it's okay. It's okay and it's it's great for its time. Okay, The Exorcist. Uh it's a B. It's definitely a B. And technically if we're we're if we're going by the impact of the film and how um, how much of an impact it played and how scary it is and how it's done as a film. It's, it's an S tier, but I don't enjoy watching it. And we're basing this off of how much I enjoy stuff. And I don't enjoy watching that movie. I've actually sold it now. And, you know, I, I just, it makes me uncomfortable, which with, it's what they're trying to do. But it's not fun to watch. It's not something that I can just sit back have a great time with like these six. Uh, so I'm going to put it at a B and I'm going to put the faculty in the same place as a B. Cause I, I really like that. I watched that one a couple years ago and I thought it was, I thought it was good. I thought it was a good movie. Um, it's like an alien movie. I I'd have to watch it again. It's been about two years since I've seen it, but it, it's a solid B uh, final destination one. I'm going to have to put B. Um, I can't get one to A. I don't think I can get any of them to an A. I think they're, I think basically four out of five are a B for me. Um, this is going to be a shocking one because I've actually saw this movie this year uh, for the first time, which is kind of embarrassing. But Firestarter is an A. I know some people may consider more science fiction, and some of these are kind of more science fiction. Uh, but it's an A for me. I thought it was a solid film. I really love this film. I thought it was really good. And even, I mean, this movie came out in the 70s, 80s. And it still holds up. And I didn't watch the remake. I heard the remake was trash. And I don't want to watch it. Uh, the Fly is a B. The Fly is a solid B. I think it's gross at times. But it, it's, it's really fun to watch. Um, it definitely has some growth scenes in it, and I think it's, it, it is a kind of a ridiculous story. Um, but overall, it, it, it's a B film. Okay, Get Out. Whew. This may get me in some trouble. I'm going to go high B. 
I'm going to go, uh, I don't know, man. It's like a low A or a high B. And I'm trying to remember everything. I just, the ending, I don't know if I'm a big fan of, like, the ending for the build-up was so good. And the ending's pretty good. It, it's not the worst ending. I got to go low A. Yeah. The more I watch it, the more I realize how, you know, how good it is. Um, yeah, I, th I think I enjoy it more than these movies. So I I'll put it extremely low A. Uh, Ghost Ship, I have not seen. I've seen bits and pieces, but not enough to grade it. Ghoulies, I've not seen. Ginger sh Snaps, I've been meaning to watch that, but I, I never get to it. Graveyard Ship, no, I have not seen that either. I haven't seen Hell House. Wow. And is that Hell Knight? I have never even heard of that. Hellraiser I have seen. And this is going to be a shocker because you all know I love Pinhead. But it's a B. It's it's not it's not an A movie at all. Um, it's kind of, it feels a little bit outdated watching it. I, I would love, I think this one needs a remake. Um, or reboot or something uh, going for it. But it, it's still a good movie. But it's not an A tier. It can't compare to what I have in the A tier at all. Um, okay, Heredity. Or hereditary, whatever it's called. Um, uh, I'm torn here. I don't know. It blew my mind the first time I watched it. I'm going S tier. It's really scary. It's a really scary movie. And it has some great moments. It has some of the best mo oh, moments I've seen in a in a horror movie, for sure. Um, probably one. There's one scene in particular I'm thinking of that involves a car that just floored me. I'm not going to say what it is, but oh my goodness, I, I can never get that scene out of my head. I I have to. And there's a couple scenes in the movie that are just creepy. I've only seen it once. And I hate putting it over these, because these are solid films, too. Um, and this is not in any order, this right here. Um, I'm going to have to put it at S tier, I think. Cause it, and we're talking about my favorite of this genre. Not of all time. Uh, because of all time, none of these are in the top 25. I can tell you that right now. Um, Hills Have Eyes. It's a B. It's a B for me. I haven't seen it in a while. The dog is just OP. If you've never seen that movie, the dog is so tough. I've never seen a dog that's that tough in my life. It got to the point where it was ridiculous how tough the dog was. But uh, I've never seen the, the House of Haunted Hill. E neither one of them. Or either one of them. Um, house? I, I, that is not... I've never seen The Howling. Human Centipede. Ugh. This is tough. It's either C or trash. It's one of the two. I I think it could have. I think if it would have went in the direction that I wanted it to go in, it could have been a a low B. Um, it's gross. I'm going trash. You know. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go trash. I mean, I think it could have went to a low B if it would have made certain directions in the movie. And it's just too. Nobody wants to watch that. It's like, who in the world loves that movie? Can you tell me who loves it? I don't think anyone loves it. I think it's just so controversial that... Um, but, I mean, if there was a D, I'd put it easily high D. I almost would put bottom C. It's not as terrible as the other two movies that I have in there. I've never seen Humanoids. Insidious is an A. The first one, at least. It's 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 an A for me. I think, I think for its time, it, it was so effective. Jump scares were really good. Story was original. Um, acting was spot on. I mean, it had everything. The Invasion of the Body Snatchers, I ha actually have never seen. So, okay, the the um, the remake of It, the first one. Oh, this is tough. I'm going, it's, I really like this movie. I think it's the best It movie. Better than Tim Curry. Better than Part 2 for sure. I'm going to have to go A tier. I just cannot 
I cannot get it there, but it's it's close for me. I mean, it's close to the S tier. It comes at night is just trash. I know it's. I think it's a twenty four, and they make some great movies, but I I do not like this one. It just does not sit well with me. Um. I didn't like it. Maybe it would be bottom C. I mean, it's 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 close with Human Centipede. I mean, it follows is A tier. And the more I watch it, it could have been S tier if it would have did a couple different decisions. Um, but the more I watch it, the more I enjoy it. It's it's definitely S tier. I mean, A tier for me. Killers, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I recently watched this one. And I am going to go... B tier because it is so funny it is not a good movie but it is hilarious and so ridiculous um, and it has some great moments in it but I'm going to go bottom B uh, I have never seen Lady in the Water oh uh, I, I need to watch it. it used to the trailer used to scare me when I was a kid the werewolf did um, Lake Mongo I have never seen this movie I need to watch that one too I've heard nothing but great things lake placid i've never seen um i've seen the original last house on the left but i have no desire to watch the remake i think it i don't like any films like that um it's just a little too much for me that and i spit on your grave i'm not i'm not watching any of that stuff it's just a little too much um just like the human centipede was a little too much as well um, Maniac Cop, I, I'm going bottom C, I, you know, I heard two's better, but I can't even tell what that is, I'm not gonna even, I haven't seen, I've never even heard of Mercy, uh, Min Samar, or however you say it, I'm going bottom B, um, uh, it's not my favorite, but, uh, it, it, it's got some really good moments, I've never seen Miras. Never seen Mirrors with Kiefer Sutherland, which uh, I need to watch that. There, there's been a couple times I've almost watched Mirrors. I've almost watched uh, um, Cujo. I've almost watched uh, Cube and Creep Show. I just never got to it. Um, My Soul to Take is absolute garbage. It's one of the worst horror movies I've ever seen. It's garbage. It's it's the bottom so far of this whole entire list. Um. And there's going to be one on here I'm going to get a lot of hate on. I'm ready. I'm bringing it on. Uh, Near Dark, I have not seen. Night of the Lepus? Never even heard of that. Scarecrow, I haven't. I've never even heard of that. Wow. I've seen Nightbreed. It, it's a B. It's, it's low B for me. The People Under the Stairs, I actually haven't seen. Wow, I haven't seen a lot of these. Wow. Pet Cemetery's good. I put it in a B. I'll give it a B. Phantasm's good. I, I like it. I'll give that a B too. Um, I've never seen Piranha. I heard it was terrible. This is the one that you have to be prepared for. I am not a fan of Poltergeist. I don't like it. I know it's a classic. I know a lot of people love it. I don't love it. I'm going... I'm going top C tier. I think it's overrated. It's an unpopular opinion, I know, but I just do not enjoy the film. Uh, it's uh, that, and there's a couple other movies that just blow people away when I... You you know what? I haven't seen a lot of these movies, looking at this, but I have seen the reanimator, and it is A tier. It is fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a gross movie, though. If you don't like gross movies, you shouldn't watch it. Uh, the Ring is B. Easy B tier for me is The Ring. I put it right there. I have never seen Rosemary's Baby. Um, it is a classic. I kind of know what happens, so I never saw the point in it. Um, Rubber. <laughs> yeah, of course it's on this list. <sighs> I'm going high B. It's fun. It is a lot of fun. Well, I, I'll go mid B. It, it's fun. It's a fun movie. Um, I know it gets a lot of talk on here. I talk about it all the time. And, you know, I, I know a lot of you are expecting S tier. 
And maybe in a perfect world it would be S tier, but I, I have to be honest here. I can't I can't put it in an A or a B or an S. But I can't put it in a B. I've never seen Salem's Lot. Never seen Sharknado. Shaun of the Dead I've seen pieces of. So I feel like I can't grade it. So uh The Shining I love. It's a really good movie. But I am going high B. High as you can get. I don't think it's an A tier. And it's just my opinion. I mean, this is all based off of my opinion. So you may have your own. That's fine. Uh, Signs is a B. Really good movie. Has a great scene with walking, watching that TV. So good. Such a good scene. So this is going to be another controversial pick. I'm going bottom B. I mean, I really do not enjoy this movie. It has some good moments in it. Um, but I, I, I think it's overrated. I prefer the Hannibal show. I think the Hannibal show is just way better. Sleepy Hollow is a solid B. Another solid B. Um, I've only seen it once, but it was really good. Slither, bottom B. It is gross. It is funny at times. Um, ooh, is this sometimes they come back? Ooh, I have a crazy story about that movie. That movie, um, growing up when I watched it, it scared me to death. Uh, but I was like six or seven. Um, I'm going to put it in bottom B. I like the story to it. It's Stephen King. Um, I've never seen Southbound. But yeah, there was a scene in a car. Uh, maybe it's uh, sometimes they come back too. Uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes they come back is, is a pretty good movie. Um, I would like to rewatch it. Maybe it's a C, but I'm going to just say bottom B to be safe. Um, I probably need to rewatch it though. Uh, Splinter, never heard of. The Stuff, I've never heard of. Summer of 84 is an A tier. Uh, I love Summer of 84. I think it's it's more of a thriller than actual horror. But uh, I really, really love this movie. I don't know. Probably there. Probably further up. If I, and They're really not in order. You can't really compare these movies. They're all different. Uh, I have not seen that. Is that like a Tales of the Crypt? I've never seen Tales of the Hood. Terrifier 1. Now this is number 1. I'm going to put in B tier. I love 2. 2 is amazing. But uh, uh, Terrifier 1 is B tier. Um. It's, it's very low budget, and it's very effective for what it is. You're going to kill me for this. I may have seen bits and pieces of Tremors, but I need to watch it. Um, I, I, I have to put it in haven't seen. Uh, Trick or Treat is S tier. Easy S tier. Probably the best. It's, it's the best one on this list so far. Yeah, it's the best one on the whole entire list. Um... One of my favorites of all time. Definitely one of my favorite Halloween movies. Um, just so good. So good. The storytelling is excellent in the movie. Uh, Troll Hunter, I actually haven't seen. I need to watch that. And I haven't seen Troll either. Uh, Tell and Ducker, Tell, uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. I, I need to watch that again. I, I don't think I like it though. Uh, the Void is a uh, bottom B. Well, nah, I'd put it in mid B. Um, it's pretty good. The end's really weird, but a lot of the movie's really good. I haven't seen that. Wow, there's a lot on here I haven't seen. I haven't seen The Wicker Man. I haven't seen Wishmaster. And I hate Wolf Creek. You know, it's not a terrible film, but I just hate watching it. Um, um, it it's trash. But it, it's going to be high trash. It could be low C, probably. I just, I hate watching that movie. I just hate watching it, so. And I never want to watch another Wolf Creek movie again. Uh, so this is my list for part one. We're going to have two more parts of this. Um, and I think I did pretty good. I mean, I think most people agree. I think the the three controversial picks are definitely um, Silence, uh, Poltergeist, and Dracula. I think those are going to... Be the three that get me in trouble. Probably Poltergeist the most. A lot of people would probably put that in S tier. Um, just kill me. 
I refuse. I refuse to put it even in the B tier. I do not like. I just don't like it. It's, I, I think it's overrated. Um, there's a couple movies that are like that, and you know, you you can disagree. That's completely fine. But I'm just being completely honest, and I'm basing this off of of my entertainment value, because obviously, The Exorcist is one of the best made movies. It's just not fun to watch. It's not a fun watch compared to Descent, which is off the chain. I mean, or 28 Days Later, where everyone always runs in the movies because they have to, or 30 Days a Night, which has one of the best premises. Uh, for and probably, I wouldn't. I don't know if it's the best vampire movie, but it, it's up there. It, it may be the best. I know I love Underworld, but uh, you know I'm being biased. Um, but Lost Boys or 30 Days a Night, it's one of those two. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen a lot of these. Need to watch probably Bone Tomahawk, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Um, probably need to watch Creep Show, Cujo, Cube, Ghost Ship, uh, Mirrors, Ginger Snaps, uh, Lake Mongo. I need to watch Lady in the Water, the, the Howling. The rest of these I really could care less. Some of these I know are really terrible, um, like Wishmasters never won an Academy Award. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, this is my list. Surprised I didn't put a lot in the trash. But My Soul to Take is definitely the worst on this list. Um, it's it, it's terrible. But um, that's my S tier. Uh, my A tier, my B tier, my C tier. Haven't seen tier. And trash tier. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be doing part two and part three uh, soon. So, this, this is kind of a new idea. And something I'm, you know doing more of and people are enjoying it so i like doing it um it's fun making these lists but anyway hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you later